Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this special episode of the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase. Tonight, we're going to take a look at Capital Pro Wrestling's top five matches of 2022. Coming in at number five, it was a Great Lakes Television Championship match from episode 98 of the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase. CJ Achin had been on a tear, allegedly defending the title hundreds of times, but he hadn't faced anyone the caliber of his opponent on this night. The suplex shogun, Jackson Stone, had been steadily making a name for himself throughout the Great Lakes and beyond, winning the Impact Wrestling Gut Check in 2020. Titles in plenty of regional promotions. It was a true clash of heavyweights as Jackson Stone challenged CJ Achin. Rare, rare that CJ Achin might be giving up the strength advantage in a matchup, but I am fairly certain he is today. Achin, of course. Always, uh, always a devout disciple of the shoot wrestling and BJJ background that he has. But Jackson Stone is uh, is definitely a sambo practitioner. I would assume he's dabbled in BJJ as well. That explains why both of them are fighting for the elbow. Controlling that elbow, you control the body, and there it is. That champ does not get thrown around like that. They're at ringside, letting them know that if they make themselves known in this matchup, they will be asked to leave. Oh, classic, beautiful suplex. The teardrop suplex, but just not enough oomph to get the big man over. Oh, beautiful, beautiful sambo toss. Be feeling generous. Oh, went for that suplex, but no, Option sprawled out on him, sinks it into a... Oh, Darsh Jones. Okay. Oh. Just pistoning against the, the chest of Jackson Stone. But all that force generated and just no steps at all. Crushing blows. Belly to belly. Champ kicks oh. out. He is the champion for a reason. For remarkable. This, you see this? This is my victory over Shogun, my medal that I won tonight. Yeah. And it's gonna look good hanging by my 500,000 medals and trophies that I have at the yeah. dojo. Hey, Conrad's one medal. Coming in at number four, Mr. 401k Mark Ross came to Capital Pro Wrestling in order to further increase his professional wrestling stock. A journeyman who has traveled the Great Lakes and the Southeast, Ross is a mighty talented grappler. His opponent this night, Jack Verville, has been the number one contender for the Great Lakes television title for some time. He had been defending his spot throughout the year, including on episode 91 of the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase. Mark Ross, Jack Verville, your main event here tonight at the Fledge. Verville almost like he was pulling guard there. No, he's transitioning to that leg lock. But look at how Mark Ross is able to elude it. I mean, that leg lock is often quickly sunk in. But spending is going right into damaging Jack Verville. I almost wonder if... Uh, Mr. 401k has some uh, on-the-job stress he's uh, taking out on Jack Verville. Verville, though, super smart, laying in with those chops. But you can see the, the squeezing has definitely paid off to slow down the attack of Jack Verville. Yeah, Verville is normally lightning quick. Holy cow! Beautiful drop kick. Oh, hung, hang him up on those ropes. 
he is making the most out of that headlock. Just. Blocking the punch, throwing a headbutt. Looks like he's got a triangle on. If that triangle sunk, there's absolutely nothing Mark Ross can do. Oh, there he is. Get his foot on the rope. Smart move. Smart move. I mean, with the possible exception of getting angry with the referee. What's Mark Ross looking for here? See, was he looking for a submission? Was he looking to send a message? But that triangle is snagged. He, yep, he's got that ankle pinned behind him. He couldn't move it up. Yeah, he's got it. CJ Action. My wife is prettier than your wife. CJ. CJ Action, you put on a little weight since you and I used to train together. You want to cut 250 pounds of dead weight? Stop bringing Joseph Moore into the shows with you. CJ Action, you work on a boat, but anytime I hear you say you're going to ride the ferry, all I picture is you spending an afternoon with Conrad Laux. CJ Hodgson, these are fighting words because I want to fight you for your championship because we both know I can tap you out. Coming in at number three, a huge trios tag match took the entirety of episode 124 of the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase. A guaranteed shot at the Great Lakes television title was on the line in this one. Team Honey Badgers coach CJ Hodgson Brought his right hand band Conrad Laux and recruited the Da Vinci of Violence Keith Cream to help dash the title aspirations of Jack Verville. Verville was not alone, as he brought with him one of his best friends in wrestling, Max Morrison, and also called upon Capital Pro Wrestling's resident big man, the star of Destiny, George Mack, to help secure his shot. Our referee has called for the bell. This match has started. A lot of history between these six men. I guess they're holding a little conflict in the corner. Keith Cream taking full advantage of the coaching of CJ Ochin. The smartest thing you can do is listen to. Morrison trying a different reversal and able to get it over with the legs, but Keith Cream too close to the ropes, getting that rope break. But he doesn't take it well when fights do not go his way. Oh, oh there we go. That, that's the side of Keith Cream I enjoy. Nice technical wrestling, bringing just, that, just enough brawling. Two submission specialists. Oh, oh. <laughs> CJ Archin, discretion is the better part of Valor getting out of the way to the bread basket move by Big Knife Conrad Head Chop in the corner. Oh, second one. Looks like he's in the tattoo removal business trying to be corner tag to the star of Destiny. Oh, here comes the booty bump. Here it comes. Oh. Oh. And that, that, that hand is way high on that shoulder blade. That is just putting tension on the patella tendon. Manipulate him with smaller opponents. You gotta keep exploiting that weakness. Going oh. to gonna double suplex him into the corner. Uh-oh. Team Honey Badger's gonna dump George Mack on his ball head. Oh! Got them both up and over. And over the top rope goes Conrad Lauch. A couple of belly chops. Oh! What is happening? Big booty to Keith Cream. Oh! Oh! Team Honey Badger meeting in the middle of the ring, not in the way they wanted to. Max Morris is the top rope. Oh! Is that a banana split? Headlock, armbar, combination out of Verville. Double tap! Coming in at number two, it was the end of the long Great Lakes Tag Team Title League. The 
Murder Machine of Caleb Stills and Jamie Cox, one in Block B. War Inc., Dre Jacobs and Billy Ray Daniels, one in Block A. Both teams were on a roll with a ton of momentum. It took until episode 108 of the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase to finally decide the titles. In this specific ring, War Inc. has been unblemished. Absolute wreckers. Yes. The World Boy Dre Jacobs himself has put so much damage onto so many men. And he's hoping to do it just a little bit more to take on those belts. Warrior, he looks bleak and believe you can come out a champion. Every part of this, oh, every part of this encounter is combat, psychological or otherwise. These guys aren't giving an inch. Jamie Cox knows what he's doing. He put that, he put that, uh, those two hands on his chest just to kind of keep Billy Ray Daniels uh, honest, never letting his shoulders rest on the mat, and never letting him catch his breath. You know, all... Oh, Jamie Cox listens to the crowd. Normally not an effective strategy, but after it's been through the ringer like it has been, any impact. Oh, look at this. <laughs> look at Caleb Stills trying to bring the rope to his partner. Oh, he's going for that Cox block. Oh. That's just, that's just plain hubris by the redneck rock star. And then Caleb still hit that Billy Ray. Really did. No knockdown on Dre Jacobs, but Caleb Stills is not done. He is a one-man tag team right now. Oh my God. Bulldog Billy Ray. They could be setting this up. Look at this whirlwind of violence. It's too strong. Just too strong muscles out. And Cox with one less knee to work with. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, going way up top is Billy Ray. What's this? Jamie Cox makes the trip. <laughs> what do we got here? Going for the Cox block. Oh, throw the super kick into it. Coming in at number one, the Capital Pro Wrestling Match of the Year goes to the main event of episode 105 of the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase. Keith Cream had just recently coined the moniker the Da Vinci of Violence and demanded a top tier opponent to practice his art. Accepting this challenge was veteran of 205 Live and AEW, the always talented and dangerous James Alexander. The wrestling on display in this match was top notch land at the top spot on this list. Both of these men right around 205, bringing with the professional light heavyweight. Right there, that's that. Look at this, uh, Alexander has that tight waist. Oh, there's a quick spin both ways. <laughs> Feeling him out, letting him know. He clearly has an amateur background. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it, it, is difficult. it is difficult to paint any picture with no arms. <laughs> that turn around and get some extra offense in on James. Keith Cream will not be starstruck by James Alexander. Right to the face of Cream. Ben, split second unconscious there. It, oh, look at that. Look at that counter wrestling by Cream. Goes to the ground and trips up his opponent offense ever. And I guess you use what you can when you're in a very difficult situation. Oh my goodness. Oh, look up. James Alexander takes to the second row. Oh, missile drop kick into a hip hop. Oh. Van Ham He's just holding up like that. And That's they, pretty remarkable. Yeah, they, there it is, there's that oh, single leg. Oh. Tap! Confident, looks like he might might feel like he can lock that in again at his pleasure. Throat chop by Crane. Oh! 
not exactly sure I have a name for that. Kind of a reverse Meteora. He's got it. It's got that arm isolated. Chin exposed. James Alexander trying to find some purchase with that free hand. There is nothing in the center of the ring. That's it. Trying to hold his victorious. Ladies and gentlemen, please let's hear it for the Da Vinci of Violence. Thank you for joining us for this episode of the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase. We've had a great year in 2022 and look forward to making 2023 even better. Please like, subscribe, and stay tuned to this channel for more content and information about our upcoming schedule. We'll see you next time at Ringside.